soft magic for glowing skin. Now you've seen the comparisons. Here are two easy ways to use this product. Hello beautiful people, this is Anne, Fabulous Life 101. Thanks for tuning in today. Now on my channel, I cover makeup, skincare, fashion, travel, anything that makes you feel more fabulous at any age. If you're interested in that kind of content and you're not already a subscriber, could you please hit that subscribe button and the bell notifications right now. Thanks so much. Well, if you follow a lot of makeup YouTubers, you've probably heard of this product, although I don't even think it's yet in stores. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I ordered it from the website and just got it in a few days ago. It's been compared to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I just have a mini size in this one. And I can say having used them both, they're very, very similar. The texture's similar. One thing I like better about this one is it has this nice fat applicator that really helps spread it on your face. But in this video, I'm not going to go into the, all the comparisons because there's so many videos that already show that. What I'm going to do is just show you two different ways that I use this product. Now I happen to be using it with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in this video, but you can use it with any foundation or CC cream that you really like. Got the shade I got in this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter is Light Medium, shade 3. I also have shade three in the Charlotte Tilbury, but that one, it says fair. So I think there may be more shades in this. And this one is, does tend to be a little bit lighter. But this shade, I found that works perfectly with my skin because it somewhat matches my skin tone. It just adds a little bit of extra shine. The first way that I'm gonna use this is by actually mixing it with the CC cream and applying it together all over the face. And that's if you wanna just add a little bit of extra glow your skin. The other way is to go ahead and do your foundation and then apply it as a highlighter on your cheeks. And it just gives you the little bit of radiance, a little bit of a highlighted look. Again, it's very subtle. It's not going to be super shiny or sparkly. It's just a nice subtle glow. There's a third way to use it I didn't really demonstrate in this video, and that's just basically to use it as a primer. While it doesn't really have the other effects of a primer, it doesn't really do anything to minimize your pores or to um, adhere your makeup. It will just give your skin sort of an overall glow before applying the makeup. But in this video, I'm doing primarily two ways, mixing with the makeup and then applying it afterwards. So here goes. For today's look, I'm going with sort of an olive glow by mixing together e.l.f. Camo Cream and e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. But first, I'm going to prime my face. Now, I've already put on some serums and moisturizers, but I'm going to prime my face with this e.l.f. Plus C Vitamin C Bright Putty Primer. And I'm going to wait for about 30 seconds and let it dry. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do is take some of this chemo cream and squirt it on my hand and then take a little bit this Halo Glow Liquid Filter and just mix some of that right next to it. See, and I'm going to take this brush from IT Cosmetics and just sort of blend it all together and apply it to the face. Now I'm going off camera and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my completed look today. By mixing the two e.l.f. products, I have sort of an all-over glow. I did not use any setting powder. I did use a powder blush and bronzer. But I'm going to finish it all with this from Milani I just purchased, Make It Last Sunscreen with a SPF 30. And this is an actual setting spray with sunscreen. Just avoid getting it in your eye because it can sting. All right. Today I'm also starting with the Vitamin C Putty Primer and I'm also going to use the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream and the e.l.f. Halo Glow, but I'm doing it in a little different way. Instead of blending them together and using them at the same time, I'm going to begin by putting on the 
camo cream as a foundation and then using the glow filter as a highlighter touching up specific areas that I want that glow okay start off with this camo cream by the way my camo cream the shade I have in this is light 280N and it's great for my summer look because I do have a slight tan now. I probably would get a shade lighter for the winter. Just, you know, I prefer the brush applicator with most foundations. And I blend it in on the neck. All right, before I use my Halo Glow, I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do my brows. For my brows today, I'm using this from NYX. This is the Full and Fluff. Okay, the brows are done. I'm also gonna use a little bit of this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Beige. And just put a dot or two in the dark circle area. So now it's time for the Halo Glow. This, I know you've probably already seen the videos if you're watching this one, of the people comparing this to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I have both, and yes, they do compare. They're very, very similar. The applicator, I think I like the applicator to this one better. It's nice and fatter, fuller. Uh, the texture's very similar. The look after it goes on, also very, very similar. This is about a third of the price. Let's tap it. What I do is I tap it right on the cheekbones. just where you want your shine because a lot of people don't really need any extra shine on your forehead or on your nose but you maybe want a little bit along your cheekbones and this is perfect for that and then just tap it in a little bit with the blender and you follow up with any blushes or bronzers and this just gives a little bit of glow very subtle but very elegant right where you want it. Okay, the look is almost done for today. I'm gonna to top it off with Milani Make It Last Sunscreen SPF 30. It's always good to top off with a little extra sunscreen, particularly if you're gonna be outside at all and the day is a nice sunny day. So that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Peace, love, and love.